Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Monday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast by reading you a scripture in Isaiah 54, verse 17. It says this, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Now, I want to focus on the first part of that verse that says, No weapon formed against you will prosper. You know, things formed against you, formed against your prosperity, formed against your well-being, it's the will of God that they don't prosper. The word prosper means to succeed. You know, sickness and poverty, anxiety and depression are weapons that are formed against you. And these things that are formed against you, it's God's will that they don't succeed in your life. Come on, whatever comes to destroy you, it's not going to succeed. In fact, I want you to say that with me today as you're watching the broadcast. Whatever comes to destroy me, it will not succeed. No weapon formed against me will prosper. Come on, friend, that's good news, isn't it? Now, the second part of that verse said that this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. The word heritage there means your inheritance or your property or your possession. So this scripture, this belongs to you. No weapon formed against you prospering. This is part of your inheritance. This is your possession. This belongs to you. And it's confirmed in other scriptures. Jesus prayed this in John 17, 17. He said, I pray not that you should take them out of the, Lord, out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil. What's he praying? That the evil in the world won't come on you. What? That no weapon formed against you will prosper. In Psalm 91.10, it says this, There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. Proverbs 19.23 says, The fear of the Lord tends to life, and he that has it will be satisfied and will not be visited with evil. Come on, friend, it belongs to you. That no weapon formed against you will prosper. It's part of your inheritance. You know, the weapon of the lion's den didn't prosper against Daniel. The weapon of the fire, the fiery furnace, didn't prosper against the three Hebrews. The weapons of Goliath didn't prosper against David. And you're in that lineage. You're a seed of Abraham. And this is part of your inheritance, that anything that comes against you to harm you or destroy you, it will not prosper. Now, what do you and I do with that verse? What do we do with that scripture? Well, I want to give you a phrase. Mix it with faith and make it your confession. I want to say that to you again. Mix it with faith and make it with your confession. You, what do you do with that scripture? You say this. You say, I believe that verse. I believe that no weapon formed against me will prosper. I choose to believe that. And then you say this, you say anything that's formed against me right now, it will not succeed. Come on, say it with me, friend. Anything formed against me right now, it will not succeed. Depression, anxiety, poverty, sickness, you will not prosper in my life. And friend, as you choose to believe that verse and mix it with faith and then make it your confession, Make it your declaration. You know, you need to say that every day of your life. No weapon formed against me will prosper. If depression is trying to come on you today, you need to say that. Depression, you will not prosper. You will not succeed in my life. Fear, you will not prosper. You will not succeed in my life. Poverty and lack, you will not prosper. You will not succeed in my life. Come on, friend, that's part of your inheritance and that belongs to you. God wants you to live in this earth and not be touched by the evil in this earth. He wants you to say what the psalmist said. A thousand may fall at my side, 10,000 at my right hand, but the things that come to destroy me will not prosper 
will not succeed. This is good news, isn't it? As we're closing today's broadcast, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, the things that are formed against you, that are formed against your well-being, that are formed against your prosperity, it's God's will that they do not succeed in your life. Number two, this belongs to you. This is part of your inheritance that no weapon formed against you will prosper. And number three, what do you do with that verse? You mix it with faith, you make it your confession. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you today that it's your will and plan that no weapon formed against us prospers. And Lord, I release my faith over the audience today, Lord, and I thank you that no weapon that's been formed against them in their life will prosper. Depression and anxiety, fear and poverty, sickness and disease, family problems, it will not prosper in their life. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.